Good day, grade six. Today we are looking at patterns, but we are looking at extending these patterns. If you look at what I've, I've drawn on the board, do you realize that I have squares that are drawn up here, and then I've written pattern number. Pattern number one has got a square, pattern number two has got squares, pattern number three has got squares, and I left pattern number four. I want us to look at what is happening here. If you look at pattern number one, you'll see that there is one square. When you get to pattern number two, there are two squares down and two squares up. When you get to pattern number three, there are three squares at the bottom and three squares going up. I can therefore draw my pattern number four based on what I see coming out. There should be four patterns at the bottom and they must go four steps up like that. And then I complete the whole set of squares as shown on the board right now. So you can almost estimate what pattern number five will look like. One, two, three, four. We've got too much there. It has to be four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one. So when you look at that pattern, you now can continue because there it's four. When we get to five, it's going to be five there and five going up. When we get to six, it's going to be six there, six going up, seven, seven. So we can come to our table now and try to complete. For the first one, it's one. For the second one, it's four, nine. You can complete now the other spaces. Remember, you count the squares and complete the table. More activities are set for you in your workbook. You can continue to complete the table. Thank you.